Everybody, it's 444RR with the next video on 365 Day Magic Challenge. Today's trick involves a calculator and it involves some Renaissance dice. Renaissance dice are these guys. They're uh, little cube or the little sticks that have numbers on each side, and all the numbers are different on every single cube. What you do is you shake these up, you toss them on the table, you have a spectator choose one of the die, and they pick one of the sides to, to, to put face up. And then you're all going to be able to tell them. You're going to be able to tell them what their number is that they choose. So, we'll say we choose this die, and we'll give it a little roll in my hands. Now, we're going to add all the numbers that are face up on this side together, and when we do, it's going to give me the solution. But before we do that, though, I'm going to tell you the solution before I punch it into the calculator, because my math is that quick. So, this is going to be 20. It's going to be 20. So if I put 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 9 is 20. Told you, I'm fast. 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 9 is 20. Okay, now one die is pretty easy. You might be saying to yourself, well, wait a second. One die is pretty easy. Can you do it with two? Yes, I can. So if I shake these dice up, and normally the spectator would be shaking the dice up and choosing which ones they want to use. So we'll go with this one first. We'll give that a little roll. And we'll place that down right there. And I'll choose this one. And we'll give this one a little roll. And we'll place that down right there. So now, going across, we're going to have a two-digit number uh, for each one. So we're going to go across, adding them all together. So this is going to be uh, 247. So if we do 35 plus 97 plus 49 plus 66, before I hit e I'm not going to hit equals yet, but it's going to be 240. Uh, 247. Let's see. 247. Look at that. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, well, anybody can do a two-digit number. Can you do a three-digit number? Of course I can. So we'll give the dice a roll like that. Uh, this one's already jet jetting out over here, so we're going to get rid of that, and we'll use these. We'll roll these up, and all the ones that are face up. So now we're going to add the three digits going across. Before I do that, though, let me tell you what the number is going to be. It's going to be 2,976. 2,976. So we're going to go 687 plus 562 plus 978 plus 749. Now, I'm not going to hit equals yet, but it's going to be 2,976. Let's see if I'm right. 2,976. But now, I'm going to use all four and give myself a really big challenge. All right, here we go. I'm going to give them a little roll, and however they land, I'm going to use those. So now we're going to go all four across. It's going to be very hard to see this, but I'm going to do all four across here. And before I start, let me make my prediction. Uh, 25,360. So 25,360. So if I go 2453 plus 9598 plus 5362 plus 7947. Remember, I said I'm not going to hit equals yet. It's 25,360. Let's see if I'm right. 25,360. I am right. Yes. I got all of them right. And that is the Renaissance dice. This is an amazing magic trick, actually, when you can blow the spectator's mind with your math skills. Because you, now, the trick doesn't really come across very well on camera because I don't have a spectator here. But the spectator would be choosing which sides of the dice they want to use. And truly, all the sides are different on every single dice. On every single one of these die or wooden blocks, none of the numbers repeat. Oh, I mean, they do, I mean, like, they do repeat, but, like, there's a five and there's a five, but the, the, the sides never duplicate. So they can honestly choose any one of these dice and choose any side they want. You can tell them what it's going to be when you have the numbers together. Same thing when, when you use two, three, and four dice. Um, and what you can do is you can say, hand that off to them, and as they're still punching in the first number, you can already give them what the answer is going to be. 
And I, what I like to do is say, punch in all the numbers, but don't hit equals at the end. Just punch them all in. And then I like to re reiterate the number. I say, well, it's 2,375. And they hit the button and boom, it's that. People get amazed. Cause they're like, that's really cool math. And, you know, because most people have trouble with math. Uh, most people can't do math that fast, you know, where you're just like, the solution's going to be boom, and it comes out to that. Now, let's say you're not the best math person in the world. That's me. I am terrible at math. I can't do math. My math is terrible. So, this is actually a very easy trick. The secret is very, very easy to learn, actually. And the trick, you can, you can do the trick, no problem. And the cool thing about the trick is, you can interact with the audience. It's not one of those tricks where you have to memorize something. Like some card tricks. I won't give away which tricks do it, but some you have like the deck stacked and you have to memorize, okay, well spades go with clubs, hearts go with diamonds, you know, you have to add this many numbers, subtract this many, then you have to think of uh, divided by 17 to get your what their card is. Like, there's a lot of mental uh, math you have to do, or there's a lot of mental steps. Like, you have to remember, like, hearts go with clubs, diamonds go with spades, you have to add 17, subtract 2, divide by 13, and that's going to be their card, where it is in your stack. With this, there's no memorization of anything. You just do the trick, and you can interact with the audience, which is nice. I love tricks like that, where there's no, like, remembering orders of sequences or remembering what card goes with what like if they choose an ace of clubs then their card if they, well if they you know if the cards are two of diamonds and their card was a ten of clubs because you add this and this to make that there's none of that with this so it's right out of the box ready to go and boom you're ready to perform it it's a really fun trick and you can think and make your friends think you have these this amazing math ability uh, but uh, So you can get it from tricksandwands.com. It's called Renaissance Dice. Or you can get it at the Maryland Renaissance Festival starting in, uh, their festival starts late August. So you can uh, go there. Their shop is right in the back. I've done some other Tricks and Wands tricks as well. And they make nice hand quality magic tricks. So it's tricksandwands.com. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow for the next 365 Day Magic Challenge video.